Today I want to talk about the misinformation that's out there about chronic fatigue, immune dysfunction syndrome, ME, CFS, and fibromyalgia. Because I just saw a video that was done by a child who put up so much misinformation that it's just driving me crazy. Um, you know, like they keep saying it only affects women in their 40s, um, which is total BS that we all know. And that it's genetic and only caused by stress. And I was like, no. This disease is brought about usually by a viral infection. And it's just amazing to me that after about 25 years of it being in the population, we are still seeing people with so much misinformation. And a lot of that is from the press. What they have done to this disease is just so disgusting and that they have gotten away with it for so long is just unbelievable. You know, the main thing that they really did to us was like labeling it yuppie flu. My relatives have latched on to yuppie flu and will not let it go after all these years. They still call it yuppie flu. They have told me that it is my CFS lifestyle. I've been told that. Um, they told me that I have to get out of this CFS lifestyle. Yeah, right? Um, just so much disinformation that goes into this that I, I can't believe it. You know, anything that I told my relatives about this, they just kept saying, you're mentally ill. You're very mentally ill. That's all they kept saying. Anything I told them. And I told them the truth, that we have a lot of symptoms, you know, that we get lightheaded and cannot stand up for like 12 hours at a time sometimes. And the sound and light sensitivity, which is documented with like advanced Lyme disease, which I also have. And it's also documented with POTS and MH. You can get light and sound sensitivity from that. And they just kept saying to me, you're crazy, crazy, crazy. Anything that I said to them, there was no, you know, getting it through their brains. And I went through a lot with my relatives. They actually used my mother's death as a way to attack me with this disease. That's what they did. They, it was like being in a room full of Simon Wesleys. And they went after me two days after my mother died. And they just, like, attacked me. They were, like, you know, grilling me about the disease. And anything that I said to them, they just kept shaking their heads. And they kept saying, you're very mentally ill. That, that's what I went through. Some of it, anyway. And, you know, there's never going to be convincing some people. But the press has really done us in. And the name of this disease has done us in. You know, when I got sick with it, there was no CFS. It was CFIDS. I was diagnosed with CFIDS, chronic fatigue immune dysfunction syndrome. That was, you know, the major thing I was diagnosed with. I was diagnosed with that, myalgic encephalomyelitis, and overlapping fibromyalgia, and advanced Lyme disease. Those are like the main things I got my disability on. There was never a mention of CFS. And I resisted that name. I saw it coming up through the press and in the literature. It started like a couple of years into my being sick. And I refused to call this disease CFS for a really long time. I went through many years of refusing to call it that. Because I saw them getting away from the name with chronic immune dysfunction in it. And, you know... They really have done a number over the years in trying to minimize that this is a chronic immune dysfunction. They have done everything in their power, you know, to really cover this up. And I just can't get over that after like 25 years, it is still going on. You know, it's like people started to really get it in the 80s. And since then, it has been covered up and covered up. And I don't understand how they can keep doing that. I don't understand how, you know, all the governments of the world want to pretend that it doesn't exist when it does, and people can't work from it. We can't do anything from it. And it just keeps going on. And 
anytime that there is a new outbreak like the one in China this year, they just cover it right up. You know, the Chinese barely got any press out about it. And they had people that are bedridden in the hospital with it. And apparently it is spreading like wildfire in China and it covered right up. You know, they got a small amount of press out and then that was it. And that's pretty much what happened when I got sick with it. My doctor knew right away when I went in in 91 because he told me that there was an outbreak on Long Island where I am from. And he said he was seeing a lot of it in his office and he knew what it was. And he called it chronic fatigue immune dysfunction syndrome. And right after that, my mother called up the CDC and she was told that it was viral. And we were also told, she called Social Security, and they said that at that time, in 91, they were creating a special division to deal with chronic fatigue immune dysfunction syndrome because there was an outbreak. That's what she was told. And I was right there when she made that phone call. Well, within about six to nine months after that, it was never, ever heard of again. They covered it right up. That was it. Never heard about the outbreak. Never heard about the special division at Social Security. Nothing. It was covered up. And to this day, you know, it's like still being covered up. And even though there's like 17 million people, probably more than that, in the world with this, it just continues, you know, what's going on in England where they're just trying to, you know, keep saying that it's mental illness when it's obviously not. And in this country, in the U.S., all the problems we have here where half the doctors still don't even believe you and the ones that do believe you tell you they can't do anything for you, which I'm finding more than the ones that don't believe you anymore. Um, when I go, it's always... I can't help you, what are you doing in my office, I don't know how to help you, you know, why don't you go to the, the Mayo Clinic, you know, I've been told to go to the Mayo Clinic or Johns Hopkins, and I'm like, well, I know a lot of people with this who went there, and they couldn't get any help, so, you know, what are you supposed to do, but they admit that we are physically ill, they totally do, you know, it's like, all these years, I have never had a diagnosis of not being physically ill. They all told me that it is a physical disease. I was diagnosed by so many doctors. You know, you do that when you get sick. You go to like a round of doctors for quite a while. Every single one I went to said that it is physical. I was never told that I have a mental illness ever. They said that it is physical. They said it does affect you neurologically but that's totally different from being mentally ill. Um, and, you know, they all admitted that when I went, that it is a physical disease. So, and the test results show it. That's what's even worse, is like, I've had the test results where they show like the high viral levels. I have had, you know, gone in with swollen spleen, enlarged liver. Um, I've gone in with a lot of things. My white cell count is constantly up. It's, it's never okay. Um, just real stuff that, you know, you can't fake these things. I have gone in with real stuff. Um, and I've had relatives just, you know, tell me that it's fake, that I'm faking it. And I'm like, faking it for who exactly? Who am I faking anything for? I don't get to leave the house. I get to go out like twice a month to shop. And then I'm so freaking ill from doing that that I have to stay in. You know, it's like... I don't get the mentality or the cruelty of accusing somebody of faking their disease. You know, I don't, I don't get that whatsoever because it's really, that's mental illness. When you feel that you have to accuse somebody who is physically ill of faking something, that's really mentally ill. You know, there is nobody that fakes having this. We hardly get any money in on Social Security. It's horrible to be on disability. It's really that bad. We get a tiny amount, especially the ones of us, like me, who got sick before I was able to build up a real work history. You know, we don't get much money in. So, and it's freaking horrible. You have to be poor on top of being sick. 